the rise and shine ladies and gentlemen boys and girls whatever place it is that you're tuned on to the life signatures radio uh welcome you once again i'm sure that uh, everything is okay with you if you are listening to me and this is your very first time this is a daily episode i mean a daily podcast and then every uh, day we have an episode launched and uh, this episode are always about purpose productivity and resilience you found us in the middle of a series in this series we're talking about covidex if you don't know what covidex is stay tuned i'll define that for you and of course you know from the word covid you know what that is why we're talking about six reasons why covidex is smack in the middle of purpose deployment covidex is an invention that came to help people with covid 19 it came from uganda and it really has helped and i know medicine and the pharmaceutical world and and so on will say oh it's been approved it's been going through the test and so on yeah so so the same applies to very many herbal concoctions that we have they have not gone through those tests but you and i know they work don't we we know they work <laughs> Anyway, six reasons as to why COVIDX is smack in the middle of purpose. Let's look at reason number two today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. We start with a recap. Yesterday we talked at depth and passionately really about purpose. Anything you invent, anything that you're doing, and I can, I can help you here. If you wanted to find out if you are on course in terms of you deploying your purpose, then this series is for you. I just realized that yesterday. This series is actually for you because there are some things, these six things that I'm talking about are yardsticks, not really yardsticks. They are standards that you can be able to use to determine whether you are deploying your purpose or not. So we're answering the question, no, not really answering the question, but we are stating facts here in this topic. Our topic in the series is six reasons as to why COVIDX is smack in the middle of purpose. Why is COVIDX a purpose thing? The COVIDX invention, why is it a purpose thing? Yesterday we said number one, purpose is always about others so if you wanted to find out if you are deploying your purpose or not ask yourself this question today who is it about yeah you're rearing chickens and uh, you are a farmer you have hectares upon hectares of of tracts of land and you mean i mean you're you're growing whatever it is food vegetables ask yourself this question who is it for? Is it for you or is it for others? Now, people might even not even know that they are deploying their purpose until they start asking themselves those questions. Because a farmer might say, for me, I'm just doing it so that I can earn money. But if I were to take you through it, you will see that you are not the first beneficiary. As in, you're not doing it from hand to mouth. I don't know how to explain that. You're not doing it and you're putting it in your mouth. You are feeding somebody else. That is purpose. The results of feeding someone someone else is that you get paid for the value that you're adding. 
uh, one mistake that people normally make is to think that purpose is a spiritual thing and therefore it cannot be charged. Nothing can be further from the truth. Purpose brings value all the time because it transforms, it contributes, it impacts. And when it does, value has got to be exchanged. Otherwise, this world, this is how the world has been trans, uh, tr- formed by the way to transact. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis, it says, um, from now on, seed time and harvest, summer and winter, day and night, day shall not cease. Seasons will come and seasons will go. What are the, what is the importance of seasons? The importance of seasons is for us to maximize them so that we can create impact and transformation during other seasons. So the first reason as to why COVID X is smack in the middle of purpose pursuit and purpose deployment is that it is about others. That's it. Today let's look at number two. The second reason as to why COVID X is smack in the middle of purpose pursuit is that purpose is always around you. <laughs> it is always around you. You will not go to America to find your purpose. Of course you might. But in a standard way, you see, if I say you should go to America, all of us cannot transplant ourselves to the United States of America or to Dubai or whatever it is. I see very sorrowful things happening. Our girls being taken. I I was told if you go to the airport, Entebbe Airport, or even Nairobi International Airport, if you go to the airport in Africa, in uh, airports in Africa, especially East Africa, you will experience daily you will experience something so sorrowful our girls dressed in hijabs are they called hijabs or whatever it is they are covered never mind these girls are not muslim they are dressed the way they have been dressed because they are being shipped to dubai saudi arabia to all these places in the middle east to work as maids and they are excited about it it's a sorrowful thing and the problem is again and again month after month week after week we hear stories we see things circulating on not just on social media but also on mainstream media a girl died in dubai they are dying they're they're being mistreated you know of cases like that. If you're listening to me in East Africa, you know of cases like that. Purpose is not in Dubai. It might be, but it's not there for everybody. We've got to be careful. If we are deploying our purpose, it is always going to be around us and within us. So we're talking about covid Professor... Patrick Ogwang was already immersed into pharmacy, was already researching things that bring cures to different ailments. It was his passion, still is his passion, helping the masses. He was not doing it under the auspices of the government. He was not doing doing it because the government has, has asked him or tasked him. It is his passion was around him i mean he he has the gift he has the knowledge he has the ability he has the skills and he has the passion to do it that's the second thing about purpose it is always going to be around you there is a day that mark zuckerberg says that ideas don't come fully formed he was right on the money on that one and the same thing is true with purpose your purpose doesn't come announcing itself like Moses being called with a burning bush experience. It is always around you. It is always around you. What that does tell us? It should tell us that we have hints of purpose and we should be looking around for those hints. We live in a world that wants certainty. That's why we go to Dubai to become maids because we are certain that at the end of the month we're going to get some paid some $300. We exchange our own purpose for $300 a month. We want to take a job that guarantees income at the end of 30 days. There's nothing wrong with that, but it is, is it purposeful? That's why the mostly people go to school. We go to school, let me tell you, for the most part, not because of purpose. We go to school because we're looking for certainty. 
And you can argue against this point only one, but it is true for a good percentage of people worldwide. But all along, all along, all along, there are glaring hints of purpose all around us. But we ignore them. We don't have the interest. We don't have the curiosity. We don't see the passion. We don't see the gifts and the talents. We don't see the pain, the things that we bother ourselves about. We don't look at them. We ignore these things. We are, I mean, so headstrong in the direction that we are taking that is purposeless, but it has certainty. For Dr. Patrick Oguang, his mother used to cure the common ailments using herbs. And that was a hint for him. It was around him. It was in his environment. The few times that he went to clinic were for the purposes of vaccination and uh, for those things that were required. Otherwise, herbs. The mother used to work on herbs all the time. Later on in school, he naturally was interested in studying pharmacy, specifically in a discipline called pharmacognosy. Pharmacognosy. (laughs) But would you believe that? He was just among the very few who were interested in that subject during his day. Chances are that if there was no interaction with Hub as a young child, he would not have been taken that subject. I mean, the story is there on episode number 901 and also 908. You can listen to those episodes. The point I am driving home is purpose is around us it has the hints it is only that it doesn't announce itself like a red flower to a bee we've got to be curious we've got to to seek we've got to be seekers we've got to be daring we've got to trust the purpose that is within us we've got to go away from seeking certainty and trust and even if you went to look for a job and you got the job, can, can you stop the traffic and start asking yourself purpose-related questions while in that job? Can I deploy in this job the things that I'm passionate about? Can I gravitate towards expending the most of my potential, the most of my gifts, the most of my talents? Purpose is around me and it is also within me. Can I solve the problems in in this job that I see they are glaring? Probably there is no money in it or the money is not immediately apparent, but the heart is gravitating towards it and the problem is already existing. Why don't we lean into it and solve that problem? Tomorrow, we're going to go deeper into this and talk about something else about... Covidex and purpose deployment. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.